Have you ever wondered how you can organize your Python project's directory structure? Let's say we have two services, service one and service two. Both of these services wants to use a local Python library called CommonLit. We can use an amazing tool called Poetry. Poetry is a package manager for Python. In today's example, we are going to see how we can use Poetry to use a local Python library across multiple Python projects. Here, I have a blank directory opened in a terminal. I'll create the two Python services. To do so, we'll use Poetry itself. Now I'll create a directory to keep libraries. Now I'll open all three of these Python projects in VS Code. So we have a module by the name of service, a test module, readme and a py project.toml files. Inside the service one module, let's create a main.py file. Here, we will write a simple function that greets. Now, I'll open terminal and create a virtual environment using poetry. It will create a new virtual environment for us. Let's run a command to get to know the exact path of Python interpreter. I will let the VS Code know where the Python interpreter is, this will help us with IntelliSense. I will restart the terminal. It seems the virtual environment is now activated. Let's run the script now. Oops, I forgot to invoke the Greek function. Let's rerun the script, and we have the output. Now, I will do the same thing for service 2 as well. Finally, let's start writing our library. I will move the greet function to the common lit. Greet function will accept an argument called service name and prints the output accordingly. In the service one, we will try to import and use the greet function from common lit. I have updated the service. Let's try to run it now. And it says, no module named common lib, which means currently I cannot import the common lib. To do so, I first need to install the local library. I will update pyproject.toml file. I will add a new dependency, and this will be our library. I will define its version. But we don't want poetry to search for common lib in PYPI. Instead, we want to mount our local directory. So, to let poetry know this, we'll define a new block. Let's update the environment. We have an error. To resolve this error, I will run poetry lock no update command. Now, we can try to update the environment. Alright, it seems, the common lib is now mounted.
but it seems VS Code is not able to resolve the dependencies. Let's try to reload VS Code. Now it seems to be working fine. I will run the script now. And yes, it's working. We are now able to use our common lib inside our service one. I will do the same thing for service two as well. It's working for service two as well. Now let's make some minor changes to the library and see if they reflect in both the services. And yes, the changes are reflecting in service two. And also in service one as well. Let's extend this further. Consider a scenario where we have multiple microservices and we want to publish an event to Kafka and we will import the event types from our common lib. I will create a new module inside the common lib called events. In this module, I'll add a file for event types. Let's define some event types here. Now in service one, we will import the event types and add a print statement, which depicts publishing message to Kafka. I will make the same changes in service 2 as well. Now let's try to run both the services. Perfect. It's working as expected. I'll be publishing a complete tutorial on how to use poetry in an event-driven microservices project. If you want to be an expert backend engineer, subscribe to this channel. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, drop a comment, let me know where you are going to use poetry and subscribe to this channel for amazing videos like this one.